Now here's another thing about Israel that say it's the most hated little nation in the world. We said size of New Jersey. I mean, New Jersey gets put down. But Israel, you have the whole world wanting to destroy it, or much of it. Notice this one nation that doesn't, I mean, it's just that, that, that has stood with it. We hope it always does, but we know, we know anti-prophecy. But guess which is, has been the most blessed nation? The same nation, America, that blessed Israel. God's Word is so true. But here it's so hated. Makes no sense. It's the only democracy there in the little thing. The only one where they, they actually, they're farming, they're giving help to their enemy, they actually bring their enemies, they're, even those who try to blow them up, they bring them to their hospitals, you know. The world hates them. It's the, it's the world versus Israel. But why? It's supernatural. The reason, it, it, what it shows you is that even though it's a tiny nation compared to the world, it shows you that there's something big going on with it. There's something big. It's showing you the greatness of the purpose, the purpose of God. Now, you wouldn't understand it. Nobody would understand it unless they picked up the Word of God because that says there is something very big coming. Paul said it. The, the salvation of Israel is going to mean redemption for the entire world. The Bible says the entire world, the kingdom is coming from that little place. The whole world's going to the redemption. The end of the curse is going to happen there. So it show, what it shows you is their spiritual warfare over that. The world is against it because the darkness of forces of darkness are against it. It makes no sense in the natural, only in the supernatural. So don't be amazed when they all come against it and the, all, the UN condemning this little nation. Come on. That's a sign that there's something very big of God going on. Because if the enemy keeps on beating and beating and beating and trying to wipe out, you know... God has something big to come. The Israelis cannot give in to it. If they give in to it, they die. If they lose one war, they're gone. And you, as a spiritual Israelite, the world is also against you. The world is not happy with you. It never will be. The darkness is never happy with you. It may manifest different ways, but ultimately, if you're living for God, the darkness hates you. And comes against you. And, and, and th you know, this is why, you know, in the same way, so, so if you're being attacked, if that shows you the greatness of the purpose that God has for you. The greatness of the calling God has because the enemy doesn't waste his time. So you've got to be strong. So the Israel doesn't fit into the world. It doesn't try to. It goes against the flow of it. You know, you, as a spiritual Israelite, you don't fit into the world. You have to, you don't have, you have to, tr you, you are not here to please the world. You're not here to live up to the world, to political correctness, to anything the world does. You're here to bless the world, but you're not here to care about what it thinks about you. You are here, you are to live against the flow of the world. You have to live against the flow of the culture. You're not to look to man, you look to God, you're to be a light. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.